If you've ever wondered how to include a custom logo or pattern on your photo product, we're here to help. You have the choice of two technologies, laser etch or UV print. When selecting any of these methods for your custom logo slash pattern, you'll be asked to upload a vector file in the cart. I will show you how to do so. Let's get started. You can convert your files in Corel or Illustrator or any other vector graphics editor like Inkscape. That is the program I will use today. By the way, Inkscape is a free program which you can download online for both Mac and Windows. Let's open Inkscape. I've already done so. Now I will select the correct size of my document compatible with the size of the product I have chosen. To do so, go to File, Document Properties. I'm setting a custom size and changing the units to inches. When you're done, close the window. Changes will be saved automatically. Next, I will import my logo or pattern saved as a JPEG by selecting Import under File. I will choose the file I want to convert to a UV print or laser etch and then click Open. The imported file will show up in the document. Now I will select the file and convert my bitmap into a vector file. Let's click Path, then Trace Bitmap. This will open a new window where you will be able to either use the default settings or change them to fit your preferences. All elements of your UV print or laser etch should be black, or else they won't show up in the converted graphic. Check how the converted file will look like by selecting Update and confirming with OK. The vector file is created. It's placed on top of the JPEG file. Let's move it aside. If you're not sure which file is the vector file, select Edit Paths by Nodes and select one of the files. If you see something like this, you will know that the selected file is a vector file. Select the cursor tool, click on your JPEG, and delete it. If need be, you may change your graphic using option Edit Paths by Nodes. This can be accessed by selecting F2 on your keyboard. Remember to position the UV print or laser etch in the correct place, the place you want it to appear on your product. Please note that the size of the document mirrors the size of the product. Your UV print or laser etch can be any size as long as it fits on your product. There is a margin of 1.5 cm, the save area. For a 30 by 30 centimeter album, the laser etch will need to be 20 and a half centimeters by 28 and a half centimeters to fit on the whole cover. Mind any cutout windows on your cover so that the logo slash pattern does not overlap the area intended for the cover cutout window. Save the file as a PDF. Select Convert Text to Paths in the Text Output Options. The rest of the settings should be kept as default, and there you have it. You've created a vector file.